Getting close to starting. Uh, let's take a look at the fuel system. Um, somewhat experimental with the return side of things. So uh, take a look. I'm looking underneath the fuel tank and this is the stock filter location. So I'm just using that inlet or output from the tank down to this pre-filter. And you can see the line runs all the way down, paralleling the vacuum line for the charcoal canister in that little trough. Then it transition goes to the torsion tube and then tucks up right above the transmission. And just above the transmission, hopefully you can make this out, but that is where the filters or the uh, fuel pumps mounted and it then feeds through the firewall right there. So through the firewall to the stock Subaru fuel filter, then the output of the fuel filter wraps around the oil filler to the top tube, which is the input or supply. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the return this guy just below the supply, he kind of tucks, it's hard to see, but it tucks back to where the fuel pump and is. Connects to the stock uh, supply line for the, uh, for the original air-cooled motor. Back to the front underneath the fuel tank, you see that we are traveling up through a hole to the fuel tank. Underneath the fuel tank, it lines up to the, uh, this guy, it's just a T, and that T's into the top portion of the tank, which also has a vacuum line, which then also T's into the fuel filler. So this isn't a vacuum line, it's actually a breather line that connects right here. And this is a stock arrangement. So that's the fuel system.